What's going on lads and lasses? Welcome back to 100% Max. So I hope you're all staying safe and well out there. So yesterday, after the game, of course, against Brighton at St James's Park, uh, we did see, of course, some posts being put up about Bruno's uh, appearance after the game, of course, uh, where there's a picture of him sitting on the grass on his own after the game with his head down uh, and apparently another picture uh, by the same person, um, of course, Again, you know, showing uh, Bruno to be upset after the game. Now, I know for a fact, uh, you know, this has been put out there, you know, to cause scaremongering amongst the fans. Even though the person in the tweet themselves says that it's not, uh, they're not one for scaremongering. You know, this is clearly what this tweet has been put out there for to scaremonger the fans you know and of course there was footage of Bruno sitting on his own but he was only sitting on his own for you know the reasons of just typical Bruno reasons really uh, is the fact that he wanted to win the match he put it out on his uh, Instagram account after the game you know to say uh, his thoughts on the game like he always does uh, and he put last game home this season I want to thank you for the support though this season i'm gutted about the result but there are still two more games to play and reach our goal and then of course he put up a picture of himself uh smiling with his wife anna and their two children uh instead of course and in the end all that matters is your happiness family glory to god for everything uh so you know clearly uh too much has been made of that tweet uh by of course that person that put that tweet up and you know that's all it is too much has been made of a tweet that somebody has put up online purely out of context uh and you know now there's a lot of people coming out saying you know bruno wants off bruno wants to go uh, from Newcastle no that is not the case that is not the case the lad is happy here he's clearly shown that he's happy here his wife's happy here his family's happy here you know he wants to be a Newcastle United player he's just disappointed that we didn't pick up the result yesterday as with quite a few of we you know me as well you know we want to win that's it you know that's football at the end of the day we want to go out there we want to perform we want to get the results and that is what it was you know that is the whole context of the situation is that bruno was not happy that we you know ended our last home game of this season and it's been a tough season let's not forget that you know there's been a lot of highs but there has been a lot of lows as well a massive injury crisis that no other team has had to deal with in the past and you know, the players will be feeling that. Eddie Howe's been feeling that all season long. You know, so they're entitled to feel a little bit down, you know, at the last home game of the season uh, and not picking up a result. In a game what, you know, Newcastle deserved to pick up a result in. You know, we're a really good side. we are put in a hell of a performance. And unfortunately, you know, the referee got in the way of things. The Brighton players got in the way of things as well by sitting on their butts for most of the uh, game. But it's still in our hands. Getting European football, which is crazy to say after the season we've had, is still in our hands. Man United take on Arsenal today. Whatever happens in that game happens. You know, if Arsenal can beat them, that would be amazing. Uh, you know, that would help with out. Um if they could get only a point against them you know it would help out but it's still in our hands we still have to go to old trafford and we still can get you know even a point at old trafford would be enough because if it comes down to it and we're equal right across the field on points then our goal difference comes into effect and we know that we have the better goal difference so it's still in our hands anyway to Put a long story short, it's purely been took out of context. The 
images, you know, and this tweet that this person's put up online, it's been purely put out of context because, you know, Bruno was not crying or upset because it's his last ever Newcastle United game. You know, if he does happen to, you know, move in the summer window, then, you know, they'll have to pay what that release clause is. And it's only a month period that they've got to trigger it as well. You know, and it's right in a pretty sticky period to try and, you know, trigger that clause as well in that month period. And... At the end of the day, you know, then it's up to Bruno whether he wants to leave Newcastle United. And I couldn't really see him wanting to go to a rival team in the Premier League. If, you know, Barcelona or Real Madrid comes in, there might be a chance that he could go. But then, of course, you've still got the loyalty factor of Bruno. You can see the lad is loyal. You can see the lad is here to perform and here to, you know, pay back the respect that he's gotten, what his dad's gotten, what his family's gotten since they've come to Newcastle. You know, there's been a lot of respect given to the family. He's given a lot of respect back. And I'm sure, you know, we can trust the loyalty of Bruno uh, that he will make the right decision for his family, for of course, the club as well. And I'm sure you're casting out to make the right decision as well. But till next time, remember to hit like, share, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I didn't want to make this video too long, but I wanted to get my thoughts out on this, you know, because a lot of people I've seen have talking about this online and they're just taking it well and truly out of context and, you know, making more of nothing to be honest, there's absolutely nothing there in the making a lot out of it. Uh, but let us know your thoughts anyway down in the comments below. As always, remember hit like, share, subscribe, 200% mags. And I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, well, that's.